Good morning and welcome everybody to the commencement for today. Welcome Pastor Ben, thank you for taking the trip down the coast here to be with us today. I'm now going to invite the vocal ensemble on stage and with the vocal ensemble, while they're coming on stand, can we please stand because they're going to sing our school song Semper Fidelis and then they'll, that'll be followed by the acknowledge, acknowledgement of country and the national anthem. We're going to stay standing for all of those. So can we please stand please? by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land we are meeting on today and acknowledge our gratitude that we share this land. Our sorrow for some of the costs of that sharing and our hope and belief that we can move to a place of equity, justice and partnership together.
Thank you very much to the Vocal Ensemble who have shared their talents with us. Thank you, Mia, for leading us in the acknowledgement of country. It is my pleasure to welcome you all back to school this year for 2022. It has certainly been a very different start of the year, but we are thrilled to have you all back. Today's service has a number of important parts to it. One of them being to install Pastor Reed as our pastor. Some of you have already had the opportunity to meet him and we are thrilled that God has called him to our school. I would now like to invite Pastor Reed to come forward to welcome you. What a warm welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning. Oh, how good is it to be together? Welcome to our guests. Welcome to Assistant Bishop Pastor Ben. Welcome to all of you who are online, even as we meet. For those of you who are in the classrooms watching this now, we wish you could be with us today in person, but we're, we're starting our school, uh, school year at a distance uh, for the second or third time, aren't we? So today's service has a number of aspects as we get about to it. We're excited to do these. Uh, we're excited to be together. But we begin by lighting the St. Andrew's candle. The St. Andrew's candle is a symbol of Christ's presence in our midst. He goes behind us, before us, and with us in all that we do and all as we celebrate the gospel to together. The St. Andrew's candle will be lit at various times throughout the year and extinguished for the last time at our presentation celebrations at the end of the year. I'd like to invite Ms. Ramsey to come forward and tell us a little bit more about this candle. Before we, I light the candle, I'd like to say that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome. God said through the prophet Ezekiel, I will give you a new heart, put a new spirit within you. I'll get rid of, I'll remove the old heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. We begin this worship service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite now uh, Lily Wilson up to uh, our faith captain today to give our Bible reading from this very passage of Ezekiel 36. So, Lily. So this Bible reading comes from Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 24 to 30. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all of your countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and replace it with one of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to follow my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will save you from all of your uncleanness. I will call from the grain and make it plentiful. You will not be, bring famine upon you. I will increase the fruit of the trees and crops of the field so that you will no longer suffer disgrace among the nations because of famine. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, God. Today we have the opportunity to have invited uh, First Assistant Bishop Ben Henschke, Pastor Ben Henschke, to be with us. As he comes to the stage, there's various things that I think, um, as I reflect on Pastor Ben, as you come forward, uh, even in just briefly meeting you uh, over these years, your passion for the gospel, for your willingness to share God's message with us, but also uh, to be a little different in how you wear your shoes. So it's great to have you and your red shoes with us today. So this is Pastor Ben.
got to choose the most colourful ones that were in the store. Um, now I'm an adult, I haven't stopped that tradition. I still get the fun ones. Another thing when I was a student at school, though, is one of the things we used to do was jump rope for heart. Is that still a thing going around? It is excellent. And the jump rope for heart fundraiser for the Heart Foundation, I think I mostly understood what it was about, that it was to do with keeping my heart, you know, that little bit more healthy by doing lots of skipping. But it was also sort of thing where you got lots of prizes when you're able to do really good fundraising. I have quite an extended family, um, and so I was able to gather lots of donations, which was great um, for the Heart Foundation, but also I got those prizes. Just uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was doing a course, um, and in doing so, found out that the Heart Foundation, they recently designed an advertisement for Australian TV that was so controversial that it actually got pulled off TV within a 24-hour time period. There were so many complaints about it online and via phone that they took the advertisement that they created, which was really planned to encourage people to keep their hearts healthy, they took that off the air. Now, while admittedly, if you have seen it, it maybe took the idea of caring for your heart a little bit too far, the reality is that the Heart Foundation, at its core, its fundamental reason for existence is to help us live longer by having healthy hearts. Their purpose is simple, it is to lead the fight to save Australian hearts. In the reading that Lily just shared with us from Ezekiel, though, the way I read it, and look, please forgive me for saying this, but I'm almost not sure I need the Heart Foundation any longer. Because the Bible just said that in the reading that God will give me a new heart and put a new spirit within me. God will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. And as we begin this school year, let's pause for a moment to think about what that actually means, because as that Bible reading went, it said, I will give you a new heart. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Now, really, God, through his prophet Ezekiel, he's talking about what we know as a heart transplant. I might still need the heart foundation because really we're talking here about a spiritual heart. Because the heart, that's the thing that pumps that life-giving blood that we need to the rest of our body. The heart is symbolic of what it means for us to be human. And so for us to have a new heart, it'll probably give us a strange and wondrous feeling. And if we were to be a heart transplant recipient, we'd probably be quite grateful to the one that has given us that new heart so that we might live. So in that sense, I guess we can be grateful because inside of us is God's own heart, which is pretty cool when you think about it. And during the time that this was written, which was like heaps and heaps of years ago, the heart was known to be the place where all of the decisions were made. And so from these two viewpoints, our heart then is extremely important. Today, as we install our new teachers here at St. Andrews, we install Pastor Reed into his role here. We want them to know that God has a new heart for them as well to help them as they begin their roles. And as you begin this new year, God has a new heart for you. As you look forward to all that is in store for you this year. This new heart, it's given because of Jesus and what he's done for us, which is live, die, but then rise again to life on the third day to give us hope, to give us the opportunity for eternal life, to give us today a new and every day a new heart. And with that new heart, we have a new beginning. Pastor Reed, as he begins his role, he's going to be encouraging each of you with this same good news of Jesus week in and week out so that you can be reminded of what Jesus has done for you. Re be reminded of that new heart that Jesus gives. So I guess you could almost say that Pastor Reed is going to be our Heart Foundation ambassador, our spiritual Heart Foundation ambassador, keeping our spiritually hearts healthy, who knows, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but maybe he's going to start a jump rope for God program. And if there's prizes, please make sure you invite me to be a part of it. 
there are many ways where Pastor Reed is going to encourage each and every of you to keep this new heart that Jesus gives you healthy throughout the year. But as we start this year, we start with new hearts. We start with new minds, open hearts and open minds. Open to God, open to what God has done in and through his son, Jesus Christ. And as you begin, may God bless each of you as you engage your community with God's love in everyday life. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Ben. We've got lots of prizes at this school and they come in the form of awesome human beings. And this morning you're going to meet quite a few of them and that's um, a gift. So it's worth coming. And if you come next week and the week after and the week after, I'll keep introducing you to our prizes because they're just the best there are. We have, as has been said previously, a few elements to this morning. We want to welcome and install our new staff some of whom, in fact, about half of who we will acknowledge this morning joined us at some point in 2021, with a few this morning who joined us this year. And then uh, later on, there'll be the installation of Pastor Reed. Then there'll be the installation of our student leaders in years six, nine and 12. And then if I might be so bold, perhaps the most important thing of all will be the installation of our seniors because it is you who we, as the grown up humans, I guess, if you want to call us that, our responsibility is to support the year 12s of this school to lead our school. You've heard me say that before and I stand by it. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Pastor Ben, I present to you these new members of our staff who have been appointed to serve at our college. Leah Begley. He works in IP and, and commenced service with us last year. Teresa Bretsky. Teresa is our head of physical education and also began service with us last year. Michelle Cook, who's a teacher in health and food technology. Lisa Costley, who is our quality assurance officer. Uh, I shouldn't keep looking up because I've got to keep looking down. Jacob Drummond, who teaches industrial technology, design and engineering. Uh, Marie Dwyer, who joins us in the inclusive practices team this year. Uh, Tracy Fong, who is our business administration officer. Uh, Beth Forbes, also a 2021 inductee, uh, inclusive practices teacher. Anita Gilmore, also from 2021, uh, learning assistant and admin support in the junior school primarily. Uh, Meredith Gollan uh, has joined us as a physical education teacher this year. Lillian Halford as a junior school teacher. Isn't it great? All these great new prizes. Luke Kensington, our business manager. That's a simple job. Uh, Guy Lawson, uh, our head of innovation and technology. Uh, Jenny McGuire, a critical member of our finance team. Uh, Bradley McMillan in our library services team, uh, Sarah, Sarah McLeod as a junior school teacher, Lucy Robertson, class of 2021 uh, in inclusive practices, uh, Trudy Slabos, uh, also last year in library services, Robert Slider, you're going to have to keep sliding, Robert Slider, the head of science, uh, Amanda Tanks, teaching economics and business, uh, I'll acknowledge Nick Wilner, who's up in the back, is our IT and AV technician joining us last year, and Darius M. Linova, who has also joined us as an inclusive practices teacher. Testing two, there we go. Thank you, David. And what a wonderful group of prizes. It's much better than what I want at Jump Rope for Heart. Friends, St. Paul says, just as each of you has one body with many parts, and these parts do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each part belongs to the other. We have different gifts, according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it's serving, 
then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then encourage. If it is giving, do it generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Dear friends, after prayerful consideration, you have been appointed as staff at St. Andrew's Lutheran College. Be assured that God will be with you to strengthen and encourage you in your role as you prayerfully seek to carry out your duties in accordance with his word. Accordingly, I therefore ask you, are you willing to practice and uphold the college mission statement, celebrating the gospel, nurturing the individual, empowering lifelong learners? If so, say, or do you, have you, do you know what to say? Oh, excellent. What's up there? Please say that. Will you follow Christ's example of humble service in carrying out your work? Will you live at peace with those whom you serve, strive for excellence in your work and to seek to live out the grace of the gospel? In accordance with your promise and pledge, I install you as staff of St. Andrew's Lutheran College in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May each of you receive much joy and blessing as you faithfully carry out the responsibilities of your role. I invite you to turn and face the community. Members of this college community, receive these staff as fellow members of the St Andrews community. Pray for them, honour and support them and work cooperatively with them and please welcome them with applause. Thanks, colleagues. You can return to your seats. First uh, Assistant Bishop Ben, I present to you Pastor Reed Matthias, who has been called to serve as the college pastor at St Andrews Lutheran College, Talabajara. Thank you. Pastor Reed, if you want to come here, and we have Pastor Andrew Kayler from our local congregation, and David, if you want to join us as well. Excellent. Friends in Christ. The Apostle Paul writes, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual excitement serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. Share with all God's people in need and practice hospitality. Read Matthias, you've been called to serve as the college pastor at St. Andrew's Lutheran College, Talabudra. Before God and these people gathered here today, I ask you, do you promise with the help of God, to carry out the duties of your office faithfully in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and the confessions of the Lutheran Church? If so, say yes, I do. Do you promise to serve these people in this college community, in their common life as staff, students and families, by proclaiming the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and by administering his holy sacraments? Do you promise to minister to the people entrusted to you, by speaking God's word and listening to them, and by praying and caring for them? Do you promise to set a good example to all people by your willing service and holy living? Do you promise to uphold the public teaching and practice of the Lutheran Church of Australia and to accept the pastoral and doctrinal oversight of your bishop? 
Almighty God, graciously give you the wisdom, strength and compassion to do what you have promised. Pastor Reed Mathias, I install you of, as pastor of St. Andrew's Lutheran College, Talat Badra, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, Ben. Reed. Yep. I was going to say something to you. Come and chase your brother. <laughs> Reed, on behalf of myself and also the um, St. Andrew's congregation, I greet you with the words from um, Romans chapter 9, which says, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervour serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and, joy and faithful in prayer. Good to have you with us, brother. It's great to be here. And people of God gathered here, receive Pastor Reed as your pastor. Pray for him, honour and support him and work peacefully together with him. And I'm going to pose this as a question. If so, say yes, we will with God's help. Oh, that is excellent that they've said that. Now you can hold them to that, Pastor Reed. Let's welcome Pastor Reed with applause. And, and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for calling Reed to be a steward of your holy mysteries and for giving him to this college as its pastor. Fill him with your Holy Spirit so that he may care for these people. Help him to proclaim the gospel clearly and serve faithfully with them. Bless Reed, Christine and Greta as they make new lives, that they may flourish as a family and grow ever more strongly in love for one another. As this school community is blessed by the service of Pastor Reed, let it hold firmly to the word of life. Rejoice in your grace and shine brightly as a light in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Pastor Reed, the Lord bless you so that you may bear much fruit and that your fruit may last. Amen. You know how excited I am to be here. It's so good to be in your midst. Now we come to the most awkward part of the worship service. where all the continuing staff in the rooms in other places are going to uh, are going to be, um, oh, if you will, reinstalled. OK, so if you could help me, you know, just just making it feel like you're excited, you're, you're happy. So if you're watching this in your classrooms, can you encourage your teachers and whoever else to stand up and move to the front. Can you do that right now? I know they'll love that. So it's going to come up on the screen what they get to say. And if you could encourage them to say that if they want to, that would be great. So here it is. Dear friends and colleagues, you're continuing to serve at the college this year. It's good and it's fitting. It's right to acknowledge your continued service and seek God's help and support in your work. And what I've noticed about this uh, committed group is there's a, a quite a few of long serving members, uh, colleagues in this community, which is amazing. Sometimes there's a lot of turnover, but when you have uh, a group that's been here a long time, that means they like what they do and they like where they are. So we're very happy to have so many here for such a long time. So as they're standing at the front awkwardly or, or happily or joyfully, whatever, uh, if we could have even our, our um, our, our new colleagues uh, also stand too. If you can encourage them with some applause, maybe some shouts, some, some woohoos, yes. That's right. And, uh, and we'll pray this together. Let's pray. Father in heaven, is it up there? We'll just pray to Father in heaven again. Is it there? I'm just going to pray this. And um, you're going to intuit what we're praying, okay? I'll pray for, for you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, in our relationships with colleagues, help us to be supportive of each other. In our teaching, help us to inspire a love of learning in our students. 
in our interaction with students, help us to maintain a positive regard for them and model the love of Christ to them. In our interaction with parents, help us to communicate warmth for them and their children. And in everything we do, help us to practice and uphold the college's mission statement. Lord, please fill the staff of St. Andrews with all that they need in the year ahead so that they may enhance student learning, help the students discover their God-given gifts and maintain the positive Christian culture of this college. We pray these things through Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. Amen. That's right. Can we, uh, can we congratulate those so loudly that they hear in the classrooms? Go ahead, as loud as you can. That's right. Thank you, staff. You may be seated. Now we come to one of the most amazing parts of every year. And, and for some who, uh, who are being welcomed into worship and service, Jesus made it clear for them that leadership was service. He demonstrated this by washing his disciples' feet. Now, for some of us, uh, feet aren't the most fun thing to think about, right? But Jesus uh, took the form of a servant and stepped forward and said, uh, I'm going to wash your feet as a symbol of servant leadership. Am I in the way? Yes, I am. <laughs> so today, our principal and deputy principals will wash the feet of our student leaders as a symbolic reminder of Christ's leadership and a challenge for us to use our gifts as an opportunity to serve. Jesus said, and if your Lord and teacher has washed your feet, you should do the same for each other. I have set the example and you should do for each other what I have done for you. And I tell you for certain that servants are not greater than their master and messengers are not greater than the one who sent them. And I know most of you did not hear this, because you're watching them, their feet being washed, but make sure you go back and listen to that again, okay? It's fun to watch their faces, isn't it? sure these chairs are going to disappear shortly too. <laughs> uh, we're now going to invite a whole lot of students to come forward and receive their leadership badges. And we're going to start with our college captains who have now put their shoes back on. And I'm going to ask Mr. Bliss and Mr. Shoemaker to come and, uh, and give them their badges. So starting with our college captains, Lillian Moores, who couldn't be with us today. Uh, Sophia Murray. Different order. Finn Andrews. Congratulations, Finn. Sophia Murray. and Rowan Twine. Lovely. 
congratulations to our college captains and our middle school captain who is unwell today. Uh, I would like to acknowledge Annie Rogers. And now we move on to our junior school captains. It gives me great pleasure to announce that our junior school captains are Nala Bruhill, Mia Gillies, Jackson Laws, and Luca Zurig. So let's congratulate our captains and uh, we can move on. We'll now move on to our SRC, our Student Representative Council Executive and Community Service Captains. So in the senior school, Georgia Wright and Maya Kebblewhite. And in the middle school, Ellie Finn and Zoe Robinson. And our Leo's president, Eliza Wilson. I'm also going to include in this with this group of captains, our cultural captains, Madison Cloherty and Eliza Thorpe for the senior school. And Evie Moores in the middle school is uh, away today. And our cultural captains in the junior school, Piper Jordan and Leo McCarthy. Our sport captains, Felix Brooks and Holly Rodway. And our faith captain, who we heard from earlier with the Bible reading, Lily Wilson. We'd now like to badge our uh, house captains. So for Binging House in the senior school, Natasha Workman and Cohen Chalmers. And in the middle school, Grace Pooley. In the junior school for Binging, we have Lexi Dove and they had their first workout yesterday with the swimming carnival and Javier Norman. For Gawandi House, Ivy Matthews and Isabella Young in the senior school and the middle school, Macy Weston. <coughs> For Gawandi in the junior school, we have Max Healing and Indiana Stinton. In Juby House, senior school, Jared Wilson and Charlotte Roper. And in the middle school, Lexi Kiros. For Juby House, um, for the junior school, we have Sunny Petrohollis and Chase Townsend. And for Warajam Senior School, Keely Daly and Shay Williams. 
and from the middle school, Emily White. And uh, two students who led their team to victory yesterday in the junior school swimming carnival, Thomas Beaver and Eloise Murphy. Well, that's a tribe. I don't know what the collective noun is for house captains, but we'll call them a tribe. Let's welcome our house captains for 2022. <laughs> I now ask the college captains to come back momentarily. Representing the whole student leadership team across all sub schools. To step forward in part in lighting the candle of leadership. It seems like a simple task, you know, but it's not as easy as it looks, particularly given that I dropped the lighter earlier and it has now disappeared. <laughs> Got nothing to light it with. No. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, yeah, OK. All right. Will the candle come off? Lucky I've got Mr Shacky here. So as I said, this is much harder than it looks. The candle of leadership, the smaller one here, is a symbol of the student leadership within the college. It's a symbol that embodies the public example and self-sacrificing service that the college expects of its student leaders. You did much better than I thought you would. I'm underestimating you. In lighting the candle, the captains, on behalf of all student leaders, have indicated their willingness to serve the college community in these important roles. Guys, if you can stay here, please. Sorry, stay here because you're going to answer some questions on behalf of all these people for us. If you could, and I might give you the response too. So, by accepting your role as student leaders and all of us who have accepted those roles as student leaders, the college expects that you will act in a manner that is consistent with our Christian ethos and that by example, you will uphold the values of the college. In exercising leadership, you will need to act as positive role models amongst your fellow students, both in and out of the classroom. You will be stretched and need to use the talents and gifts that God has given you to the benefit of the college and those around you. In carrying out your role, you will need to demonstrate sound judgment, resilience, persistence, courage, and initiative, understanding, acceptance, and compassion. A few guys can then respond with those words for on behalf of. I'll give that one to you. On behalf of the students of St Andrews, we accept the responsibility of leadership of the student body. We undertake to carry this responsibility faithfully with fairness and honour in the interests of our fellow students and for their good. May God give us the strength to fulfil this pledge. So you've asked that God would help you and God will provide that for all of us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of the church, we ask you to give good gifts of leadership to those who have been committed to the offices of leading here today. Give them a clear vision of their responsibility. Give them patience, kindness, self-control and wisdom to know what is right and good. Above all, give them love so that through their life and action, your name will be glorified. Amen. Finally, leadership amongst the student body is not restricted to those students who have been installed today. A badge simply gives an additional set of responsibilities, but no greater obligation to lead this community than anyone else. Essentially, they're like first amongst equals. As I said, they have certain roles that they will perform at certain times of the year, and that's terrific. But in the end, they have no more authority than every other student sitting in this room. Year 12s, I've said before and I say to you, you have my authority. You have the authority of my colleagues, teaching and non-teaching, to lead this school. You set the culture of this school, not us. Our job is to assist you and sometimes to push obstacles out of your way. 
so that you can lead fearlessly. So that you can lead with good grace and humility and so that you can lead so that we are a continually better place. So for those in classrooms and watching recordings today, hear me say that, that every year 12 in this school has equal responsibility and authority to make decisions, to communicate them clearly and to act responsibly. That's what a year 12 badge means. Moreover, than any other badge of responsibility celebrated this morning. It's funny when we do all these sort of ceremonial things, which is right and proper at the beginning of each year. I can't help but be reminded that it kind of feels like a wedding. But you know what? In the final analysis, the wedding doesn't matter. The marriage does. And so as you go about your duties this year and your responsibilities with and for one another and so many more people who are not in this room this morning, remember that. It's not a ceremonial act. It's something which makes a statement about today, tomorrow and the next days that follow. So having said that, I have no idea where we're up to, but I've got a feeling it'll be Mr. Shoemaker. <laughs> Year six students, you have the opportunity of serving within our community. St. Paul reminds you, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be an example for the believers in your speech, your conduct, your love, faith and purity. Because of the restrictions that have been put in place, the year six students are back in their classrooms and they can't be here in the hall here today. Instead, we've got uh, Luca and Nala who will receive the badges on your behalf and then they will help distribute them later. So Luca and Nala, can you come up on the stage now? And they're going to take the whole tray of badges, which the whole bucket of badges. Oh. Yeah, they're on the, yeah, they're. Oh, no, you've got six years till you get back. <laughs> but you can have these. Hold, hold them up. Hold them up. There we go. Please acknowledge our Year 6 students with a round of applause. And now to Year 12. Year 12 students, you have the opportunity of serving within our community. St Paul reminds you, for you were chosen to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love serving one another. I invite the Year 12s to come out now alphabetically to receive their badges, and I invite Mrs. Danny Goucher, Head of Senior School, to come and read their names. It is, it, it is with great pleasure that we welcome the Year 12 cohort of 2022. Finn Andrews, Grace Andrews, Lily Armstrong, Kyle Orbert, Amali Batson, Ella Beatty, Sunny Bell, Kai Bowden, Sophie Breckenridge, Felix Brooks, Taylor Brown, Charlie Butt, Keenan Carment, Cohen Chalmers, Madison Cloherty, Samuel Collis, Brody Cooper, Charlie Cosgriff, Sophie Crouch, Sienna Dalby, Keely Daly, Jez Jamur, Piper Dillon, Maya Dunn, Jasmine Ellen, 
Kate Ellis. Holly Farden. Blaise Futuros, who can't be here today. Holly Favot. Edie Finn. Remy Fenter. Dylan Franklin Platt. Liam Galt, who cannot be here with us today. Jay Gibson. Emily Glover. Hugo Gooley. Ella Grimsey. Georgie Hacker. Penelope Hadzik. Chris Hayward, Matt Heritage, Cooper Hersey, Jordan Hines, Lily Hodge, Ryan Hodge, Jeremiah Host, Josie Hunt, Jet Indra one. Benjamin Irvine. Bridie Irvine. Gemma Irvine. Chloe Jones. Molly Jones. Aliyah Kaczynski. Maya Keppelwhite, Mackenzie Kenyon, Andreas Costa, who can't be here today, Ashley Lamming, Charlie Lewis, Jessica Malady, Elizabeth Marshall, who is not here today, William Mason, Ivy Matthews, Ella May, Jack McLean, Tanner McLeod, Makani Mule, Lillian Morse, who's also not here today, Kyle Moss, Reese Mulholland, who's absent today, Sophia Murray, Kaylin Nell, Talia Nicholas, who's away. Leo Nichols, Daniel Perry, Hayley Priestner, Bronte Robbins, who's away today, Holly Rodway, Charlotte Roper, Benny Rowan, Charlotte Rudolph, Connor Samradatis, who's also away today. Miko Savory. Ryan Scher Schermarker. William Scott. Sabas Shabani. Ava Slattery. Braden Smith. Oliver Stanfield. Sarah Sutherland, Jack Taylor, Will Taylor Hall, Oliver Thackwell, Eliza Thorpe, Lila Thurban, who also cannot be with us today, Rowan Twine, Bianca Van Campen, Taj Vali, Sienna Vukalatis, Hayden Walton, who also can't be here today, and Jack Walker as well. Chloe Wallace, Amelia Wormsley, Zoe Walton, who's also not here today, Sophie Warren, Ollie Whale, Tia Wimpy, Matthew White, Samuel Wilk, 
Shay Williams. Jared Wilson. Lily Wilson. Drake Wolfenden, who also cannot be here today. Natasha Workman. Georgia Wright. Isabella Young. Lyric Young. Sienna Young. <laughs> Summers each. Please join me in acknowledging the Year 12 cohort of 2022. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we commence. Oh, okay. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we commence this year at school, be with us as we try new things and explore new opportunities. Please use every opportunity for our learning and growth. Lord, you love to hear us pray. Please help us to remain connected to Jesus, the true vine. Without him and his help, we will not be able to bear fruit or do anything that pleases you. Lord, you love to hear us pray. Please bless St Andrews Lutheran College in all its endeavours. Help our teachers to provide quality education and loving concern for their students. Help our students to be receptive of all that is taught and learn how to serve others with the gifts and talents that you have given them. Lord, you love to hear us pray. Lead us all in the year ahead so that every activity, every task, and every moment is shaped by your merciful grace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 That's right. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Please rise as you're able. We're going to stand for this. We've been sitting for a while. Let's pray together. Are you ready? Yes? Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. You can stay standing because we're going to have a song now. This is one you might know called One Way. Now yesterday, yeah, see, it's, it's like a real rock concert now. So the thing about this is, uh, these guys uh, were practicing yesterday and I saw something miraculous. I saw the lead singer from Midnight Oil show up, Peter Garrett, and he looks a lot like Mr. Shackey. Now about, now, just as I was saying a little bit ago, Mr. Shackey has been here for 25 years sharing the love of Jesus sharing his own passion for how faith works in this place and I'd love it if Mr. Shackey slash Peter Garrett would sing with these guys today what do you think about that can you bring him out Mr. Shackey come sing one way with these guys you're very welcome you no, sing. no, you you're not sing. singing. Get, get out! Oh. So you All right, I'm singing. I'm singing sing too. too. I'll sing yeah. too. Okay. I'll do it if you're. I need it. the words though. Okay. On the on the screen. Let me on the oh, screen. Okay, I'm just staring backwards. Then. No, no. <laughs> okay, you got to do what you were doing yesterday. You know, you were so into it. Okay, we're ready. Go ahead, you guys.
blessing for the year. And you can repeat this after me. May the Lord bless you. See if you can use your voices even louder. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. And give you peace. That's right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let's have an amazing year. Amen. Amen. You guys are awesome. <laughs> well, we aim for an hour. I think we did pretty well. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, whether you're in this room or whether you're in classrooms or whether you're watching this as a live stream or a recording or whatever else it is, what a great celebration for why we're here, one way, and um, and why we serve one another and what makes it important to be part of a community. What a great morning. Thank you so much to our guests. Whilst we couldn't have many today because of circumstances, we hope that you can join us for a cup of coffee now. And for the rest of you, get on with the marriage. We'll see you again and thanks very much. <laughs>